Hello Commanders and welcome in part 10 of the American Empire series and in today's episode we are going to speak a little bit about the resources management and why I have a tremendous economy and also we are going to launch the invasion of Bolivia. We are diving very deep inside the Amazon lands and inside uh, South American territories where we are going, getting closer to the Bolivian uh, homeland cities. We know that Bolivia have been uh, spamming uh, land units because he does not have coastal cities so we are going to um, expect some land defenses there, huge resistance with his tanks and infantry because he have a lot of level 2 army bases, 100% we are going to expect some mainball tanks or tank destroyers or things like that. Meanwhile, now I am going to show you why I have the strongest economy. I'm going to annex some uh, different cities. Starting with the city of Caracas, which is the fuel cities, as I am going to start mobilizing the aircraft carriers that consume a lot of fuel, so I need to uh, start um, upgrading my fuel economy. Also, the city of uh, Bescomuento, which is a uh, supply city, very important also to spam the um, warheads, the conventional warheads that consume fuel and also supplies. Electronics, which is important for everything, and rare materials. Rare materials are being consumed by our conventional warheads and also by our stealth air superiority fighters. So now, in the beginning of this episode, I have annexed four cities. And before that, we already annexed all the three or four cities as well. So now we have a count of eight annexed cities in day 32. This is how we have the strongest economy because first of all we are playing with the United States of America, 10 homeland cities. Also we have been focusing so much on our arms industries to upgrade our economy and at the same time we are annexing a lot of cities. Of course we have to mention that we have been expanding so much, we have all of North America including uh, Central America and now the expansion continues through the lands of South America, which is significant and very important. The expansion is very important. Now we are at the borders of uh, the Bolivian lands. We know that Bolivia have been at war against Chile and also Peru. So uh, we are going to expect to uh, find them exhausted yet. We are going to also expand a lot of land defenses here because before invading any country, I never take my enemies lightly. I have to... Um, Consider all the circumstances. I have to consider all the surprises and never never underestimate my enemies Even though we are in public map even though that we are going to find a lot of beginners yet even beginners They can surprise you sometimes they can launch unexpected assaults on you So this is why I need to calculate everything and anticipate everything uh, As we did with Brazil where we surrounded him with a tremendous naval blockade all of his coastal cities have been bombarded by our navies and now we are uh, we are sending national guards to claim and take those homeland cities the invasion of brazil was 100 percent successful because we did not lose anything against him considering that brazil did not uh, focus on naval units because if he did some ships some marines or something we are going to find some problems but like my followers in the comment section have advised to make uh, attack submarines or naval patrol aircraft to defend my uh, stacks from uh, attack uh, submarines, of course, we know that uh, cruisers and also frigates, they do not have sonar. So when there is uh, an attack submarine within your range, you cannot see it because you do not have a sonar. So in this case, we are going to need either destroyers or naval patrol aircrafts or ASW helicopters. For now, my enemies do not have level 3 naval bases. My enemies do not have attack submarines, so I am a little bit chilled here. I can focus on other things, but if I smell that anyone is making attack submarines in this map, I will directly go for the naval patrol aircrafts, which is my lethal weapon against attack submarines. Also, I am going to make my naval officer. With my rank, I can upgrade my naval officer to the max level, the Admiral. The Admiral alone is very, very strong against submarines, against ships, against missiles, against everything, pretty much. He is very strong. So yeah, the um, naval officer is going to be uh, a huge addition to our American army. 
We are still navally blockading South America and now I'm starting to assemble my navies in the center of the Pacific Ocean. Why? Because now I am going to start preparing my next assault, my next expansion, my next uh, war. I don't know yet, I did not decide, either I go for Africa or Europe, so I am going to let you guys decide here. We know that the Africans have conquered all of Europe, now they are destroying Europe to ashes, so if I go there I will have and I will find empty lands, exhausted lands, I can carry on a successful invasion, or I go straight to the jackpot. I go and break the Africans, I go directly to their continent and later on after I break Africa, I will have Africa and also Europe under the reign of the American Empire. So guys, in the comment section please, I want your advice, either I go for Africa later or Europe or Asia. The, de uh, the decision is going to be yours because under that decision, I am going to follow it. This is a wider look at the American Empire and the expansion through the South American land. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful expansion to see that United States of America have unified all of North American continent. This is, this is amazing. Our expansion is going perfect. As I expected, the Bolivian defenses, the Bolivian land armies, as our land radar have reached uh, closer and closer to the homeland cities of uh, Bolivia, we are noticing a lot of land radars there. In all of the cities and provinces and everywhere here, you can see that a lot of land radars. The good thing here that we have the upper hand, we have the ranged attack. We can use our max level multiple rocket launchers to attack from a distance from a range of 100 and also the stack of uh, level 1 without artillery which have been extremely useful this stack alone have took down a lot of infantry and a lot of units it's very useful so I'm going to use my ranged attack on those Bolivian defenses meanwhile Brazil have annexed the city of Montevideo with a level 2 army base I'm going to bombard it of course bombarding it even if it is empty Bombarding is very important to destroy those buildings and prevent him from making new units. There is uh, an airfield near the city of Porto Alegre and I saw it directly I sent my cruiser to bombard it as well and destroy that airfield. We need to destroy all of their logistics which is very important. My National Guards have landed in the city of Fortaleza and Recife as well. Our plan have uh, worked perfectly. Now I'm going to try and clean out uh, these uh, surrounding provinces because uh, that will boost up the morale of the city because when you have enemy provinces surrounding you, your city is going to take long time to be stabilized and get to the morale of 34%. Meanwhile, I need to uh, uh, clean those surrounding provinces to boost up the morale in the city and uh, make it go to 34% as soon as possible. Until then, we need to keep our National Guards there to uh, prevent it from turning into insurgency. Our multiple rocket launchers and towed artilleries, they are advancing to those uh, land radars that we are detecting. Meanwhile, I'm going to try and uh, take the surrounding provinces there. Let's have a look at our F-22 Raptor. Uh, they cannot be carried by aircraft carriers. This is an information that you need to know. But attack helicopters and all kinds of helicopters can be carried off on the aircraft carriers. This is why I'm upgrading my uh, airbase in the capital to level 2. Because when I finish the research of uh, the missiles and the research of the SAMs, I'm going to launch the research of the aircraft carriers and the attack helicopters. Uh, the naval base level 5 have been uh, started long time ago in the city of San Francisco and soon we are going to start preparing our full navy, full air force until we start our expansion in another continent that you are guys going to decide which is going to be Europe or Africa. Thank you guys for watching and supporting us. I expect your ideas and opinions in the comment section and meet you in the next episode. See you guys and bye bye.